Norman, let me just say this very quickly. Many groups in Southern Gospel music owe their entire existence to you. So thank you for all that you have done. And Mr. Goss, I shudder to think what the quality level of gospel music would be without your influence. So thank you for what you have done. My parents took me to my first gospel music concert when I was two weeks old. And I'll never, ever forget how great Kelly and Karen Peck sounded that day. <laughs> when a lot of people think of Ed O'Neill, they think automatically, of course, of the Dixie Melody Wars. <laughs> Of course, they also think of this wonderful thing called EOU at O'Neill University. But uh, I know another side of Ed O'Neill that, uh, that uh, you may not be aware of. Ed O'Neill is a man of extreme loyalty. The story's been told of a DJ who was playing records as he worked his way through college. And uh, that DJ wanted to include interviews with the different artists that he was playing. This was way back in the early days. There were still records back then and no cell phones. And Ed worked it out to where he could stop by the radio station and do an interview. And when he told the rest of the group what he was doing, they all looked at him like he was crazy because Ed scheduled that interview for 3.30 in the morning because that was the only time the DJ was available. The story is also told of a young concert promoter who, who was getting his feet wet in the, in the world of gospel music promoting and uh, the first concert that that promoter had, had the Dixie Melody Boys. And at the end of the night, when all the receipts were counted, the gate came up a little short. And uh, that promoter went to Ed and said, uh, Ed, it came up a little short. Is there any way you can work with us? And uh, the promoter was told by Ed, he said, he said uh, why don't you take this to cover your expenses? I'll take the rest and we'll call it even because you need to keep doing what you're doing. Then there's a story of uh, someone who was thrown into a major, major situation at a record company because one person was leaving and without practically any experience, that person was handed the careers of 12 major artists. And the first person to call that guy was Ed O'Neill. And Ed told him, he said, if there's anything we can do to help, anything to help you get through this, you pick up the phone and call. And then there's another story of, a, uh, of an instance where someone's entire career was thrown upside down from moving from one aspect of the industry to a, an entirely different part of the industry. Ed O'Neill was the first person to call that guy and tell him, if there's anything we can do to help, we'll do it. The reason I know that is because I was the DJ. I was the promoter. I was the one who was thrown into a situation of dealing with custom recording and all of a sudden entrusted with the careers of 12 artists. I was the one who saw my entire career in the recording industry change in one day and put into a, another world of singing news. And that entire time, Ed O'Neill has remained loyal, always offered his help, always wanted to do anything that he could do. But the greatest example of loyalty that we have ever seen in gospel music is playing out in front of our eyes right now. When health challenges affected the loyalty of the woman who has stood loyally by him, every mile of the way who took the time to keep the home fires burning to raise the kids to do whatever needed to be done in the office while he was on an extended tour all those years of being loyal to him and his group when the opportunity arise, arose for ed to repay that royal loyalty he has done so he's dipped into his life savings He's rearranged the entire aspect of what he's done to make sure 
that the loyalty of that woman was not entrusted to strangers, that the loyalty of that woman was not entrusted to distant family members. He's repaid that loyalty by keeping her with him every mile of the way so that they can enjoy each and every moment that they have. That's the kind of man that Ed O'Neill is. That's the demonstration of loyalty that everyone who's ever been a Christian should be able to display. So Ed O'Neill, all I can tell you is everybody in this room right here loves you and thank you for everything that you have done.